Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another brand new review for you guys, of course, as always, but it's not just any review. We actually have something crazy cool from Galerme Belinsky Art, because as you can very clearly see, we've got ourselves Bumpy the Ankylosaurus. He has gone ahead and created himself his very own version of Bumpy, and I must say, here in person, it is absolutely fantastic. And one thing that I really like about this model is the fact that even though he's very good at creating kind of cartoonish versions of dinosaurs, as he obviously has with the Land Before Time models he's created, this is almost more of like a lifelike, sort of realistic interpretation of Bumpy. So even though it comes from an animated show, you know, Bumpy looks fairly lifelike in the show. I feel like he really has ironed out what Bumpy would look like if it were a real living baby Ankylosaurus. And again, as always, Galerme Belinsky art is one of the most talented artists on the planet. You can definitely see that here with his incredible Bumpy the Ankylosaurus. Again, just absolutely nailing the look of Bumpy. He is so good when it comes to his screen accuracy aspect. He always creates, again, the most perfect renditions of whatever it is that he's trying to create. Again, whether it be... You know, things that I've reviewed in the past, like the Land Before Time models or the Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurs, and even down to, you know, more realistic interpretations of dinosaurs like his Saurophaganax, as well as the Brontosaurus. But one thing that is cool about this, of course, being a Galerme Belinsky art, they're usually kind of limited, so you can see you do get a card here with it, which shows off a nice image of Bumpy, but also states down here that, again, it is Bumpy, but the limited edition number is 25 of 50, so there are only 50 of this little Bumpy in existence, which means I don't know for sure if it's still for sale or not. I don't know if uh, there are any left, but of course, at the end of the video, make sure you check the link in the description as I will include a link to the social media outlets of Galerme Belinsky Art where you can contact him to inquire further about purchasing one. But regardless, I'm really psyched to take a closer look at this with you guys, so as always, let's jump straight to it. So starting up here at the head sculpt of Bumpy, you can see that the model overall has a very nice again very realistic appearance and one of the things that kind of jumps out at me straight out of the gate would be the eyes the eyes are painted really nicely but they're also given a nice gloss coat and overall they look as lifelike and realistic to me in person as it gets really adding you know some realism to the model but just generally some life you know taking it from looking like a stagnant sort of a model to looking more like a living breathing version of a bumpy you know so that is really cool you can see the beak is sculpted very nicely also painted with a grayish tone the mouth is open a little bit you can't see a whole lot in there but one thing I can see and I don't know if it's showing up on screen here is the fact that the uh, tongue is sculpted out in there and painted but it doesn't seem like my camera is going to let me show you that it's actually really hard to see I can only catch a glimpse of it in certain lights because the mouth is so small you can see in my finger right there behind it, it's a pretty tiny mouth, so it's a little hard to see, but I can assure you the tongue is definitely sculpted and painted out in there. But as you move up a little further into the head, you can also see the nostrils for Bumpy as well as the armor begin to pick up. You can see the skin texture looks great. We have really nice looking scale detail as you move through the face of Bumpy. And again, the paintwork is really well done overall. You can see he's highlighted all of the armored scales of Bumpy with that nice bluish tone, but still allows that yellowish tone of the skin to kind of creep through all of the armored areas, really nicely highlighting the blue areas of the armored larger scales. You can also see that we've got that little spike over here that's sculpted out. You can also see on top of that that there's a nice dark wash there applied to it so that it highlights that area and the cracks and crevices contained within. But just like with Bumpy and Camp Cretaceous, you can see he has given us that smaller bump, you know, that smaller spike over here on this side of the dinosaur. Again, really capturing the likeness of the dinosaur perfectly. You can also see again how nice the scale detail looks, how beautiful the eye looks, as well as the fine detail of the beak and you can almost catch a glimpse of that tongue that I was just speaking of there on the inside of the mouth. As you move down here into the neck you can see that we've got some nice skin wrinkles and folds and stuff. The head of the dinosaur is turning toward us a little bit and also kind of tilted slightly so you can see that 
movement shown there very nicely when it comes to the skin wrinkles there in the neck and throat region. You can see the throat itself is also quite nicely sculpted out here on the underside of the model. As you move back here into the leg, you can see again we continue to have some of those larger sort of armored scales painted with the nice bluish tone. You've also got a few more of those very large armored scoots here down on the leg again painted with that grayish tone and he's even outlined them kind of with a black which is nice. I think rather than saying that it was a dark wash I think he may have actually painted them black and then painted the gray over them which is exactly what I'm thinking now is the case. But as you lead down the leg you can see a nice little chunky leg for our ankylosaurus. You can see the elbow back there as well as again that really nice scale detail moving through. The nails are painted similar to the armored scoots moving through the course of the dinosaur where you have that black and then the gray which helps to really make those nails pop I think. I really like the way that he's painted them. Again moving back into the stomach here of Bumpy you can see more really nice looking skin texture in that area. More of the bluish tone moving through. Same style to the paintwork again of the thigh back here with the larger scales kind of giving that nice blue treatment as you move down you can see some wrinkling in the back of the knee as well as right here in the ankle area again the nails are painted and sculpted very nicely and you can see that he does have actually like cracks and crevices included within the nails themselves so making sure to give it a very realistic and highly detailed appearance as you move out here toward the tail again we've got more nice looking yellowish skin here for the underside but nice blues up here on the armored back of our ankylosaurus you can see that the club tail is painted similarly to the way that the you know uh, armored scoots are for the rest of the dinosaur with the dark tone and then again that gray painted over to really highlight all of that aspect all of the fine detail of that area the underside of the tail also looks really good and you're going to see pretty close to the same thing over here as what we had seen on the first side again the head is turned away from us though so you see a little more stretching in the skin of the neck more so than you know wrinkling but there is definitely some wrinkling going on the legs are pretty close to the same position the rear legs at the very least are but if you look here in the front you can see that the right front leg here is kind of taking a step picking up off the ground whereas the left front leg is planted on the ground holding the dinosaur up and you can see how that leg is kind of outstretched a little bit over here but then as you lead up here to the top of bumpy again you have all of those armored scoots moving through the course of the ankylosaurus painted with that grayish tone as well as again those blues but he still has allowed the yellows to kind of creep through a lot of the areas of the blues here on the back but overall that is an absolutely gorgeous bumpy and if you are a fan of camp cretaceous i feel like you're gonna love this because in my opinion this right here is the absolute best bumpy on the market and then we've got a nice base down here and the base is very similar to the land before time bases kind of where we have this nice little black outline but then you have the little earthy area here contained within and you can see we basically just have a nice little earthy spot down here for bumpy to stand on but we've got some vegetation showing up here and there some stones you know sporadically placed throughout the base a little more vegetation over here and then a little bit of a log kind of laying down over here just to you know add some fun to the scene just give a nice little base for our dinosaur a nice little you know forest kind of setting for the dinosaur and there's also a nice soft underside as well so again a really nice base to go with a beautiful bumpy as far as a size goes for this model bumpy's pretty small you were looking at about three and three quarter inches or around nine and a half centimeters and then for a height the highest point would probably be the back of the head right around two inches maybe a little over or about five closing in on five and a half centimeters but maybe not quite there and then for a length on the base actually let's take bumpy off just to get a fairly accurate length it's actually right around the same length as bumpy about three and three quarter inches or around nine and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus robert muldoon and the collect a human being next to our bumpy the ankylosaurus which you can see is pretty small overall then for a pretty fun comparison we have the adult version of bumpy from mattel here next to the galerme balinski art version and you can see they do actually look really quite cool together definitely a nice addition to any bumpy collection we also have a size comparison here with the toy monster international captives version of bumpy next to the galerme balinski art version 
as well as the Snap Squad version. Now this one is basically where you can get a pretty good idea of the size of the Galerme Balinski art version because you can see it's very, very similar in size to the Snap Squad version. I did try to find the actual Mattel version. I know there is a version of the Baby Bumpy from Mattel, but I don't know exactly where I have it right now. Again, my collection is currently uh, in the process of being rearranged and everything, so I'm not too sure where certain things are. And unfortunately, Bumpy is kind of hidden here right now. I did try to find Bumpy, but no luck. But again, if you do happen to have the Snap Squad version or are familiar with the Snap Squads, you're definitely going to have a pretty darn good idea of the size of this Galerme Balinski art version. So when it comes to Bumpy the Ankylosaurus and Camp Cretaceous in general if you are a fan of that show or specifically again Bumpy uh, I would definitely say that this is a model that you should want to add to your collection if you happen to have the chance to do so because it is a great interpretation of that dinosaur I think they've absolutely nailed the likeness Galerme Belinsky is always so unbelievably good at capturing you know screen accuracy he's done that time and time again especially when you look at the land before time models they literally look like they were pulled straight out of the film and that's the same case again here for Bumpy. It almost looks like he reached straight into Camp Cretaceous, grabbed Bumpy, and, you know, now Bumpy's just hanging out here on my table right in front of me, obviously, at a very, very small size. I guess the size that the dinosaur might appear on a TV, depending on the size of the TV. Regardless, again, it is a really nice interpretation of this dinosaur. The sculpt is great, again, very much so spot on, as well as the fine detail as you move through. You have really vibrant scale detail, skin texture, skin wrinkles. And the thing, again, that I think I like the most about this is, as I said, rather than creating this in that sort of cartoony kind of a way, which even though... And, you know, can still be taken as that animated style. I feel like it has more of a lifelike, realistic look to it, which is something that I personally am a big fan of. You know, I actually really like that. I wouldn't mind seeing Galerme go back and recreate the Land Before Time characters in a similar way where you take that animated dinosaur but turn it into more of a realistic interpretation of the dinosaur. I would actually really love to see that. But as a whole, I think Bumpy looks great when it comes to the sculpting animation aspect as well as the paintwork he absolutely nailed the tones of color that you do see on this dinosaur and it's all very nice and naturally applied overall really impressive paintwork continuously when it comes to any Galerme Belinsky model and you know when it comes to an artist Galerme really is the total package he can sculpt he can paint he can draw he can do anything and you can really see again how nice the paintwork is on this specifically the eyes the eyes are just that one thing on this model that really pull me in all the time so overall this is an absolutely awesome bumpy the ankylosaurus and if there are any left i highly recommend picking one up so as always like i said i will include a link in the description or a few links to the different social media accounts of galerme balinski art where you can contact them and inquire further about potentially purchasing and owning one of these bumpies yourself so make sure you check those links go follow galerme balinski on his social media outlets and also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.